back in Sydney, the Cuban boxing team looking to keep pace with the United States, seeking to make it eight out of eight. This a light heavyweight bout. Isil Alvarez of Cuba. There he is in the blue from Dos Palmas, Cuba. Hoping to add to the Cuban mystique. Going up against Giacobbe Fragamenti out of Milan, Italy. Alvarez, 26 years old, has three inches on in height on Fragamenti. He finished third of the 97 World Championships. In the Goodwill Games final, he thoroughly defeated American Alanda Anderson, who is the U.S. representative in this division, but drew a bye in the opening round. While uh, Fragamenti won the 1998 European Championships, but did it as a heavyweight. He has moved down a weight class for the Olympics. Which Teddy forced him to uh, lose over 20 pounds. Will that affect his power and energy? You know what, Marcus? That was excess weight, which I would suggest that it probably was looking at his stature, looking at his build, that it could help him. He could have an advantage at this weight, be a stronger man, be in there with smaller guys. As long as he didn't kill himself, and looking, according to the eye, he did not kill himself making weight. Probably at the weight he belonged at. <coughs> This should be a competitive fight. Along with the Cuban, Fragamenti is one of the favorites in this division. Alvarez is a southpaw that is a caution for slapping, but unlike other Cubans, will go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Good action fighter, as we've seen here in the opening minutes, although a scoring blow has not been landed. And again, a caution against the Cuban Alvarez for hitting below the belt. Even though Alvarez is not moving as much as some of the other Cubans have, he's stepping. Stepping and sets apart. Not standing right in front. Alvarez at six foot two. Has three inches on Fregamani. Alvarez has an advantage in hand speed. Fregamani wants to slow down Alvarez. He needs to go to the body. And again, once again, forget about the fact that some of the judges don't respect body punch. Go to the body just to slow the man down. Caution against Alvarez for a push. Alvarez going to the body, then connected with the uppercut, but still not able to score. And Alvarez hit with the caution. Again, going below the belt. We saw that uppercut, Teddy, and two of the judges had to be screened out. So, he doesn't get caught. The three of the judges have to push the button. That's a good point. Three out of the five have to push a button within three seconds. And Alvarez, who's very strong, getting an advantage by stepping and having quicker hands. Where Fragamenti, who wants to be inside, who's like a bull, and also very strong, is a little bit more one-dimensional. The speed of Alvarez is different so far. Kobe Fragamenti, a boxer by day, a dance club bouncer. By night, working at a nightclub in Milan. Don't mess with Kobe. And Isil Alvarez. Part of that vaunted Cuban team that has swept through the first round, as has the United States earlier today. Ricardo Williams Jr. winning his bout at 139 pounds. So the United States has won all nine of its fights, three buys in the opening round. Look for Alvarez to start using that uppercut on the short of Fragamenti coming forward, trying to pick him up. One thing I noticed, Mark, that Fragamenti needs to do, he covers up well, he obviously comes forward, he's strong, he wants to be inside, he needs to jab his way in, to take away some of the offense on the way in from Alvarez. Combination 
by Alvarez. First point of the bout, and then the caution against Alvarez, who once again led with his head. He gets too square. Look at his feet. He gives too much of a square post. Gives too much surface to hit. Picked up another point. His feet are parallel. Too much target. Get one foot behind the other. Get a little leaner. Get a little thinner. But Fragamendi not able to do anything about it. In fact, trailing now 4-0. Alvarez compiling the points in this second round. Fragamendi is still coming forward, but not effectively. When he gets inside, he's having trouble getting through the defense of the Cuban Alvarez. Stop. Stop. And a caution again against Alvarez, who did not listen to the instructions of the uh, referee, who was trying to break the fighters. And Alvarez, actually, when Fragamendi is inside, obviously he needs to do work. Because he's going to get the... He's going to get the worst of it on the outside, no doubt about it. The Cuban is faster, taller, more mobile. Fragamendi, when he gets inside, needs to be more effective. Instead of throwing to the arms, he needs to throw around the arms and then rip uppercuts off. In between, 